Hey guys, what's up? So I'm gonna show you guys another set of awesome mods today And these mods are called the clean UI mod and the chicken bone not enough items mod for minecraft 1.4.5 These mods are really awesome mods So how about we check out the first mod which you guys are noticing from my title screen My GUI looks entirely different from the old minecraft because I have a new mod installed It's called the clean UI mod and you'll see that there's so many different colors in the background Oh, it looks so good and over here. We have ourselves a new update key and change log key Key. So if you go here to change log, well then it'll show you every new feature that this mod has to offer such as a new change and whatnot. Every time you update this mod there'll be some new changes and over here are some rock critics. If you go here it'll take you to his website, that's what I'm guessing because when I click here it opened up some random website but you could go there if you really want to. Maybe it has some more information about the change log and maybe future updates but let's click on change log and if you go here to update key this will take you straight to his Minecraft forums in order to see any updates available in your current version of Minecraft. So if you guys want to update this mod, well then go here to the update key. So basically it just takes away your old GUI and makes it a little bit more cleaner. It looks a little bit more nicer. I'm not sure if you guys really would like to change your GUI at all. But there's one thing I noticed about this mod. If you have Minecraft Forge installed, usually there's a key that it's called mods really. You guys remember that key? It's called mods. It's usually in the corner of Minecraft where you can see every single mod that you have installed using Minecraft Forge. Well I have Minecraft Forge installed but there is no mods key. So that's one little disclaimer about this mod. Now let's go to multiplayer and you'll see that the keys down here also have been changed. So how about we go to single player, we go to the abnormal Pokemon world. Why not? There's an abnormal Pokemon world in my Minecraft. And what is this? This is a super huge Pokeball, but you can't really see it that well. But if we press escape, you'll see that the clean UI mod also affected our escape GUI. So you'll see right here paused and you'll see another pause. Why is there two pause right next to each other? Are they dating? Who knows? But let's go here to back to game achievements screenshots. There's a new tab called screenshots. You click on that, it'll take you to your screenshots folder. And it's just like, you know, the texture pack key. When you click on that, it'll take you to your texture pack uh, folder and whatnot. And here's some statistics over here's options and open land party and same quick game. And uh, yeah, so that is basically it about the clean UI mod. It just adds in a better clean GUI. It's your Minecraft games. And whoa, what is that way over there? Do you guys see that? I'm not running in Minecraft far distance because I have been getting a lot of bad FPS lately. I'm not sure if it's the new Mi Minecraft update, but uh, I've been dropping so much in FPS. I can't even play Minecraft anymore. Well, I can still play Minecraft. That's why I'm making this video. Anyways, let's go ahead and check out the next mod. This mod is called the Chicken Bone Not Enough Items mod. How about we use it in order to fly way over there towards that weird looking circle. So the Not Enough Items mod is actually too many items combined with Risugami's recipe book. If you guys remember those two mods, they are really handy in your single player and multiplayer saves. So if you guys are in game, all you have to do is just press escape. No, actually, you just press your inventory key, and here we are. This right here is not enough items. If it's not activated, then you have to press the key O in order to turn it on. Let me go ahead and turn that off. So there you go. You press O to turn it on, and this is what you should have in the beginning of your uh, not enough items. You'll see that there's a trash can. Just like in too many items, you could throw away your items. You could turn off the rain, turn it on if you like. Here is the creative mode inventory. Here is a new key called Magnet. So let's switch ourselves back to survival, which I should already be in, and let me change the time. You can change the time right here in these keys. You guys should already be really familiar to all these keys, just like in Too Many Items. I reviewed every single key. If you guys want to check out my old video, well, then you're going to know every single one of these keys. But here is a new key called the Magnet Mode. So if you click that on while you're in survival, if you happen to break a block, the entity is actually going to fly towards you. So here are some flowers over here. So if I happen to hit this flower, it's going to come straight towards me no matter where it's at. So you could be super far away, you could activate a TNT and all of the blocks are going to come surrounding towards you. So how about we break this flower and here it comes, it's coming towards me. There we go. So how about we break this block and all of the droppings, everything is going to come straight towards me. So there's no need to be uh, scavenging and running around your whole entire world looking for items when they just come straight towards you. That's actually really awesome. So that is the new magnet key and that's basically it about this uh, magnet key. So how about we check out the next thing, heal player actually heals all of your hearts and uh, it's just like in the too many items feature. If you have items that you want to save just in case you die or probably you want just to reload it up, well then you could mess around with these save keys. You could save it and if you happen to die somewhere and you lose all of your items, how about we just throw away these flowers, well then you could go ahead and click load and all of the items are back. So you could just save your inventory if you really want to and uh, let me go ahead and change time again. I have a feeling that there it would be really cool. Actually, I didn't even have to change time. I'm just underneath something. One thing that I've always wanted from too many items and not enough items is a lock key. A key that allows 
allows you to lock time, so no need to change time back and forth if it turns nighttime. It could be daytime every day. That would actually be really cool. So over here we have ourselves all of the Minecraft items, and the difference between uh, too many items and not enough items is that not enough items has a bigger selection of items. I'm not sure where it's at. Here it is. You have yourself a ton of spawners, and I mean these spawners could range to the actual withered boss. So here's the withered boss spawner, which I want to spawn, and look at him. He's just rotating in 3D in my hands. Um, I'm holding the wither boss, but uh, I want to check him out towards the end of this video. But uh, over here, you can see all of the spawners, and I'm sure Too Many Items doesn't really feature this. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. I haven't been messing with Too Many Items lately. I've been uh, busy with other stuff. At the very bottom of everything, you'll see that there is a search key. So if you look up something called wood, then it's going to locate every single thing that actually has the prefix as wood. So you could get wooden planks, wooden tools, all that stuff. So you could search things at the very bottom. And over here, you'll see that there is a number grid right here so if you minus this you'll see that it goes down and you could add up stuff what does this do entirely well if you click on a stone or a grass well then you're not gonna get a max stack of 64 you're gonna get five so you have set it towards five you could also have it up to like 11 so if you want 11 lava sources well then there you go 11 sources so you could set how much items you want from a specific uh, block item all that stuff so just set your number whatever you want and over here we have ourselves the item subsets well this pretty much filters out everything so if you don't want to be searching for items just go ahead and click that off just by uh, right clicking and now it's gonna look only for blocks so over here it has refreshed the whole entire system so these are all blocks right here and I did not know this but a redstone torch is a block and uh, I should have already known that I've been you know coding in Minecraft MCP and uh, yeah when you actually make a crafting recipe with these type of redstone torches you have to call them block dot redstone torch which is actually uh, very interesting so yeah you could uh, filter out everything that you want over here and uh, let's go ahead and reopen this up let's go ahead and click right here there we go so there we have it so also if you have a mod installed it would actually filter out the items of the mod and blocks of the mod so everything will be filtered out if you're interested of any mods that have items so right now we are in survival mode if you see I have some hearts down here and some hunger bars now we could change ourselves into creative mode and here's the creative inventory and there's one special creative mode that not enough items presents in this mod if you click on creative mode again you'll see that you have yourself a creative plus where it's entirely different from your actual creative mode you don't have those special tabs from creative mode you have yourself a large chest inventory so you could store up any items that you like and you have yourself your basic inventory right here and some armor slots right there so if you guys are just interested of just having this tab open up and not the actual creative tabs well then you could go ahead and do that if you really want to so that is basically it about the main features of not enough items how about we go over here because I want to check out what this is over here uh, the, if you guys want the world download from this the save links in description where you guys could see Charizard holy smokes Charizard what are you doing look at this Charizard right in the flesh you could go into his mouth which is very interesting this world creation download will be linked in the description so let's go ahead and check out the options of not enough items there isn't that much to cover in the options so by default not enough items should already be set to your global options so the global options affects your multiplayer experience and every single world saved experience in single player as well so if you would happen to click on this tab right here not enough items now switch to the world options these settings right here these settings will only affect this world in single player it does not affect every single world that's why you have to mess around with the global options because it affects everything if you would like to keep not enough items enabled then go ahead and keep it enabled but if you want to disable it go ahead and click this key so if you don't want your friends knowing that you're using not enough items obviously everyone's gonna find out eventually probably your dad's gonna find out and then you're probably gonna get a big whooping but anyways let's go here to done and you'll see that everything is eventually gone over here we go to options and now we can enable it once again so now let's check out the cheat mode right now we are in cheat mode which is considered the best setting so you could keep yourself in cheat mode or maybe you don't want to spawn in items well then go to recipe mode where you could see the recipes this is where Risukami's recipe book actually is enabled in this mod uh, it's not the same exact code it's actually quite different so let's go to recipe mode go to done and you'll see that nothing else here all the tabs are gone that's pretty much what I'm trying to say all the tabs are gone you can't change the time you can't change your creative mode all that stuff is eventually gone and I'm in survival mode so how about we check out how to craft ourselves a uh, let's see what we, we could craft we could craft some TNT so just click on TNT 
and you'll see that you don't spawn it in your inventory but you do see a crafting recipe of it so there you go and maybe if you want to see let's say a uh, crafting table let's say if you're in interested in making a crafting table I'm not sure if you don't know how to make one but if you go here to crafting table there you go since it does only use up four slots there is a question mark right here it pretty much shows you how to craft it using planks right there in your grid so it makes a little highlight that's really unique about this mod it shows a little highlight which is very interesting and that's it about the recipe mode or uh, let me go ahead and show you one more thing if you go up to an item all you have to do is just press r for recipe and it'll actually activate it the same way but let's go to options let's go back to cheat mode and press done and you could do the same exact thing in cheat mode so if you go up to any item in cheat mode either you want to spawn it or oh wow there's just wow hold on let me just clear my inventory i'm gonna hold shift and I'm gonna click on the trash can everything is now gone but how about we check out the crafting recipe of a uh, compass all you do is just scroll up to a compass and press R and it'll show the crafting recipe without spawning it in so the key R activates the recipe let's go to options and let's go to utility mode so let's go ahead and go there and the thing about utility mode is that it just makes everything as if you're just a miner in a way where uh, it still allows you to spawn in items but uh, you have yourself a magnet right over here let's go to exit let's go to exit let me see if you can still spawn in items and actually I was incorrect you can't spawn in items no I was wrong it doesn't allow you to spawn in items but you can check the crafting recipe of everything so all you really do have is this magnet and the crafting recipe search so let's go to options and let's just stay in cheat mode cheat mode's the best way to go and here is minecraft layout this is what I recommend to stay on because you don't want to check out the old too many items layout if you go to old too many items layout you'll see that everything turns black because this is the old too many items if you guys like this black type of uh, format then you could go ahead and keep it like that way but uh, let's go back to Minecraft layout where everything looks all nice and gray and all that stuff so let's go to options and uh, yeah if you guys want the item IDs to show then go ahead and mess with this you can mess with auto shown and hidden if you guys don't want to know the item ID number and highlight tips hidden if you want to see some tips of the item which usually shows around potions and whatnot though well, then you could go ahead and keep this hidden or shown and this is the block IDs settings where you could just mess around with some block IDs uh, such as ignore and do not load and all that stuff I don't really mess around with the block IDs because what is there to change it's not it's not like you're making a mod while in Minecraft like that one mod but uh yeah so that is basically it about not enough items hopefully I didn't really do a bad job uh, reviewing this mod but uh, let me go ahead and show you one other cool thing that I forgot to mention is that when you go here to uh, highlight tips right here shown uh, if you look at a block it actually shows a tip you see that you see that tip at the uh, top right corner it tells you what it is so if you look all the way over here I'm not sure how far it is probably when you have it selected here's snow here's obsidian so if you guys want to know what you're looking at then go ahead and keep it like that uh, you just have it where it shows the items right here go to options and it says highlight tips shown so it'll show you what it is it's, it's a, a little tip at your top right corner so yeah guys that is basically it hopefully you guys will enjoy this mod i'm gonna go ahead and catch you guys later thank you guys for all of your support i've been uh busy i just got back from college and it's literally like 9 p.m you guys could probably imagine how long i stay in college for but uh thank you guys for all of your support if you guys are interested in this mod you guys want to know how to install this mod let's go ahead and see how to install this mod this mod is really easy to install all right, so let's go ahead and install this mod. This mod is really easy to install, so we shouldn't have any errors. But the first thing I'm gonna do, of course, before installing this mod, is go here to Options and Force Ultimate Game. The reason why I'm gonna Force Ultimate Game is because I have mods currently installed. If you guys have mods currently installed, I always recommend to back them up because you're never too sure if this mod is compatible with any of your mods. If it's not compatible, well, then you're gonna get yourself a black screen and you won't be happy. So Options, Force Update, and log in to download a brand new Minecraft Dodge Jar, in which we're gonna modify. So go ahead and download a brand new Minecraft Dodge Jar, and I'm gonna go ahead and minus this and you guys are going to get the download from my description it's going to take you to my website you're going to get minecraft forge universal for minecraft 1.4.5 you're going to get not enough items you're going to get uh the code chicken and uh you're going to get yourself a clean ui so the one thing you probably might find different from these two downloads the not enough items and the code chicken is that it's in a jar format don't even worry about it it's actually uh, very simple to un understand how to install not enough items it's not that tricky but here is the clean ui and uh, everything else so get these four downloads if you guys want the clean ui you don't have to get it but uh yeah so go ahead and get the downloads and once you have all the downloads let's go ahead and install these mods i'm gonna go here two stars search your program file i'm gonna type in percent app data percent and for windows xp users somewhere around here you should see run and all you do is just run percent data percent and it should take you up here to the roaming folder click on the roaming folder 
and you should see dom minecraft in the very top you can go into your dom minecraft folder go here to bin resources save and everything else all right you're gonna see all these folders now go into your bins folder all right so go into your bins folder now you're gonna right click your minecraft drives located in your bin folder open with winrar so you're gonna right click open up your minecraft jar with winrar or any sense zip opener open that up and move it aside all right so you should have yourself a folder called meta inf but before you delete meta inf you have to make sure you have your minecraft game closed here's my minecraft game that i just forced up to you you have to exit off your minecraft game before installing any mods so exit off your minecraft game now you're going to go to your meta inf folder right here that's located in your minecraft jar you're going to right click that and delete files make sure you delete meta inf so say yes and delete meta inf now meta inf is gone now we can continue Open a Minecraft Forge Universal. It is required for not enough items, but it's not required for the clean UI. So open up Minecraft Forge Universal and move it aside. You can see a lot of files from Minecraft Forge Universal. If you know how to highlight all the files, all you have to do is just press Control A. So highlight all the files by pressing Control A in your Minecraft Forge Universal zip. So once you have highlighted all the files for Minecraft Forge Universal, go ahead and drag it all into your Minecraft.jar side. You're going to wait a little bit as it, uh, you know... Uh, adds in all the files into your minecraft jar so just wait a little bit and now it's going to come out with this and replace just press ok and now what you can do is exit, exit off your minecraft forge universal move it aside and you're going to open up your clean ui so open that up because it edits base classes obviously it does enhances and changes your gui so open up the clean ui you don't have to download this if you don't really want to though uh, i want to install it to show you guys how to install it all you do is just highlight these files right here in the clean ui and drag it all into your minecraft.jar site and replace press ok and you are done with the clean ui mod so if you just want the clean ui mod you are officially done go ahead and play minecraft because that's all you have to really do you didn't really need to download minecraft forge universal if you just do if you just want the clean UI mod. But since we have installed Minecraft Forge Universal, we're gonna uh, install the Not Enough Items and Code Chicken download. So go to your Minecraft.jar and exit it off because you are done with that. Make sure you're still in your bin folder where you open up your Minecraft.jar with WinRAR because you're gonna go back one. So go back to your DOM Minecraft folder with bin resources, save, and everything else. All right, so now you're gonna create a new folder called, uh, what is it called? Core Mods. All right, so create a new folder called core mods. Don't create a new folder called mods. It has to be called core mods, C-O-R-E-M-O-D-S, like so. So there is core mods, okay? If you don't want to make a new folder, all you do is just launch Minecraft once, and it should already be able to generate the core mods folder. But all you have to do is just call it core mods, C-O-R-E-M-O-D-S. All right, so go into the core mods. And what you're going to do is just highlight and drag over the code chicken and the not enough items jar straight into your car into your core mods folder. And that is it. That is basically how to install the mod. So uh, now let's go ahead and launch Minecraft. You can leave your DOM Minecraft folder open if you uh, want to see if you got yourself an error. But uh, once you have logged in, it should be able to work. That is it. All right, so what you have to make sure not to do is uh, just make sure you don't drag over those jars that we put into our car mods uh, core mods, not car mods, duh. But uh, just make sure not to drag over those jars into your mods folder, okay? It belongs in your core mods. So uh, you see that I have myself the fancy GUI right here. If I go to single player, go into any world that I, li that I like. And if I press E as my inventory key, it should be able to open up uh, not, uh, what is it called? Not enough items. So there you go. So you could just uh, press R. If you look at any item that you want, press R. You can see the crafting recipe. And guys, that is basically it about these two mods. These mods are really easy to understand. Hopefully you guys will enjoy these mods. And thank you guys so much for showing your support. Uh, if you guys want to see more things that I'm in, go ahead and check out Minecraft Daily. It's still going on. And I'm playing with Kevin and Ashley and Sly Fox. So go ahead and check that out if you guys want to see more, uh, you know, Let's Plays or something like that about me. Uh, recently, I've been busy. I'm trying to do some other stuff uh, for my channel. I'm working on SpookyCraft episode 30. If you guys are still watching this video, then that's a spoiler for you guys. But uh, hey, what do you know? You, know? you now know what I'm working on, which is SpookyCraft episode 30. Spread the news if you want to. If you guys uh, are still watching this video, that would be impressive. If you guys are, then I really do like you. Well, then I'm going to go ahead and catch you guys later. I'm going to jump off here and land in the flat grass. That No, I'm going to land in the bell. Oh, the obsidian. <laughs> I don't want to land in the obsidian. I'm going to go ahead and catch you guys later. Thank you.